Get a report. Get a report. Get a report. Get a report. Podcast. Did you regret saying you didn't regret saying Fuck them dead bitches? No, not at all. Uh uh-uh. uh, I don't regret nothing. Yeah, I don't regret nothing, homie, because I think about everything that that I do, so I don't just spontaneously do nothing. Yeah, I sit down and think shit out and think it through. So if I did it, I thought about it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I did, if I did and I said it, I thought about it. Uh, no, nah, I don't regret nothing. Okay, so um, let me ask you this then. Since you say you don't regret nothing, what about Nip? Because you went to his funeral. Yeah. And, and you said you was invited. Who uh-huh. invited you? Uh, Melvin Farmer. Okay, so he invited you to the funeral. So you went to the funeral, and then afterwards, I don't know how long after, you saying F- Nip? Probably six months after, four six months, months after, yeah. Why? Because uh, Nipsey Hussle is a character. Yeah. He's not a real person. Any promoted gang banging. Yeah. The destruction of black males. But okay, so why go to his funeral? Uh I didn't know who he was and I wanted to know who he was. You didn't know who he was at the no, time? I didn't know who Nipsey Hustle was. No. Now I was mad in the motherfucker uh when Nipsey Hustle died and our radio station was playing his music and people down here was y'all were mad in the motherfucker. I'm like, man, who the fuck is this Nipsey Hustle nigga? Nick, I've been I was in LA. And all I knew, I lived in L.A. before he died. All I knew he was a gangbanger. Yeah. So I'm saying, we got Nipsey Hustles around here. Niggas and did in their neighborhood. Fuck y'all celebrating this nigga for. So uh, when Melvin Foreman invited me to the funeral, I wanted to go to the funeral and see who the, you know, what's so, what's, what, what's so good about this dude that we celebrating him in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Yeah. Uh, and when I went to Nipsey Hustle funeral, uh, I heard about a guy by the name of Irmis. I never heard no one speak on Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. So it was easy for me to say fuck Nipsey Hussle. But okay, so you saying fuck the character, not Irmis. Er- Nipsey Hussle. You take it out. You want to take yeah. it. Fuck Nipsey Hussle, the Rolling Sixty Crip, who in his lyrics said, "We're gonna, I'm gonna turn all these bitches into lesbians." That's a demonic statement. That mean my daughter's going to go to, so you want to turn all our girls into lesbians, huh, Nipsey, the rapper, the whatever you want to call it. Nah, homie. When you know better, you do better. Nah, I know better. Yeah, y'all can play like these are just lyrics and it don't have a force. And Nah, homie, I'm attacking this demonic force called rap music and rappers are the demonic tools that's being used by Satan and white supremacy. Okay, so. Because um, they, they, they only promote the death of black people. Nobody else. Kill, die, nigga, kill. And these are, now they're not making up songs. They writing real rap lyrics that didn't kill people. Nothing but black people. Not one, give us one song about killing white people, killing Jews, killing Asians. Why all the songs have to be die, kill, nigga? And y'all don't see nothing wrong with that? Nothing. It's a demonic force. That's so dark in the hearts of these people. They idolize these people who worship killing black people. And when you get somebody like me to say, hey, well, let's kill white people. They, they can't even imagine that. Hey, let's kill Jewish people. Hey, let's kill gays. Hey, let's make songs about killing dogs. Man, come on, my nigga. These niggas talk about doing the worst things to black women. Who you think they call them bitches and hoes? Not white women. Who you think they talking about making two sisters commit incest while they can have sex with two sisters? Come on, my nigga. Y'all playing, my nigga. Y'all faking with this shit. The reason why I'm such a force, because the world been waiting for somebody so real to show up and speak against the negative detriment that's being poured down the ears as poison to black youth. Drill music. So now I I don't regret nothing. I don't regret nothing, and I don't give a fuck about no dead rapper, no dead gang member, or they mamas. Give a fuck about them. I'm caught up in this fast life.